character for divine wounds for life today's topic is going to be on doing the work and as always we pay homage to grandmother moon we're going to have a full moon january 5th so get your full moon rituals ready and celebrate this new year coming forth so doing the work you know, every new year we set forth some New Year's resolutions and, you know, we say we're going to do things differently. And that's all fine and dandy, you know, because some of us do do exactly what we say we're going to do. But I want to talk about that desire, that one thing that you really, really want to do for yourself this coming year. You know, that thing that you kept putting on the back burner, didn't have the time to do it because, you know, you got to tend to the children or you got to tend to your job or you just got to tend to things other than yourself. I want you to take some time and focus on yourself. Focus on self first. Like, praise yourself. Worship yourself. Honor yourself. You know, it has nothing to do with religion. It's not, you're not going to go to hell for worshiping yourself. <laughs> Just worship yourself for all the wonderful things that you've been doing. Worship your body for holding your spirit. Worship yourself. Worship your body for being healthy and, and holding you up all these years. I want you to worship and praise every part of your body, every part of your being. Worship it. Praise it. Because if you don't, who will? You know what I mean? Like, we're always waiting for someone else to give us that compliment. Uh, we dress up, you know, as women, we dress up and we step outside and we wait to hear the nice compliments that come from other people. Let's step outside the box. Let's do things different 2015. You know, it takes a lot of determination, willpower, and courage to do what's necessary for self. When you focus on yourself, you're going to realize that you get more energy, you get more determination, you get more motivation, you get more willpower. You get all these things that really boost you up because you are the one who's boosting yourself. You're giving yourself the motivation. So switch the role. Start praising yourself. Start giving yourself honor and appreciation for being who you are. So honor yourself. And in doing so, you'll be able to develop mind clarity. You'll be able to make better decisions. You know? So focus on self. Focus on improving yourself and taking your vibration to a higher frequency you know when you praise yourself you you vibrate higher because you know when you look in the mirror and you see yourself you reflecting self energy you're reflecting your self love and if you're sad you're reflecting sadness so perk yourself up be happy be grateful be thankful for everything that you have and look in the mirror each day and let your love be reflected be reflected upon yourself so that when you do set forth out on your day, you can accomplish the things you want to accomplish. You give yourself the energy that you need. So let's stop searching for everything outside and go within. You know, we hold everything that we need. It's all inside of us. We just got to tap into it. So look in the mirror every day and praise yourself. Worship yourself. You know, give thanks that you exist. You know, you are a miracle. The body is phenomenal. It takes care of itself. You know, it heals, it rejuvenates every night. So honor that. You know, let your body know how much you appreciate yourself. So when you do that, it gives you that, that, that one edge that you need to do the work that needs to be done. And the work that I'm talking about is if you know that you want to lose some pounds and you just been, you done tried every diet and everything in the world and you just can't shed those pounds, doing the work, doing the necessary work 
will become so much easier once you start worshiping yourself, once you start honoring yourself. So shedding a few pounds here and there, you know it's going to take changing your diet. You know it's going to take drinking more water. You know it's going to take eating healthy, wholesome food and eliminating processed foods out of your diet. You know, drinking more juices. Doing the work. Just do the work and you will see your life change right before your eyes. So when I say do the work, it means get out there, do some research. Research what it's going to take for you to um, heal your fibroids. Do the necessary research of what it's going to take to balance out your fibroid. You know, do the research, do the work. It's not going to take that much time out of your day. You've got 24 hours in a day. So how much time are you going to invest in self, in yourself, you know, to do the work? You know, if, you, if you've been tired and fatigued and you don't know what's going on, change the way you eat. That's all you got to do. Once you change your eating habits, I guarantee you, your mind will change with it. Your thought patterns are going to change as well. If we just eliminate processed foods out of our diet, that's half the battle right there. Because the foods that we're eating is not giving us the nutrition that we need to live. I mean, we're eating, we're eating all these foods, but really and truthfully, we're starving to death because we're not feeding our body the minerals and that it needs in order to be healthy. So learn how to eat right, you know, eat the right foods, foods that grow from the ground, from Mother Earth in its natural form. Processed foods, if you're getting anything in a box, where's the nutritional value in a box? That's not nutritional value. Anything in a box is not from Mother Earth. So be wise about, you know, the choices that you're making in 2015 and do the work. Do the necessary work that it's going to take for you to learn which foods are alkaline, which foods are acid. You know, all this plays into our lives. You know, we're eating a lot of foods that are acid-based foods. And the body develops all this acid and we don't have no nutrients. So, you know, learn which foods are alkaline. Learn which foods are acid. And start living your life in an alkaline-based way. <laughs> Very simple. You know, it takes time. It takes work. You know, do the work. You know, once you learn what foods to feed your body, and then you can learn what, you know, herbs you can take to detox your body, then you're taking that step in improving your life already. So I really want you to focus on doing the work and focus on worshiping yourself, honoring yourself. So with that being said, please, please, please invest in yourself. Do the work. So I want to um, give thanks to all my um, subscribers who have subscribed to the Wound Day videos. Um, my intentions was to reach 100,000 women, um, but unfortunately I, I didn't reach that goal by today, which is December 31st. But I am grateful for reaching 5,638 viewers. So I want to thank you all for subscribing and I will continue making the videos. Um, because I am determined to reach 100,000 women and with your help in sharing the videos, I know I will reach that goal. So um, I also want to um, give a little feedback on the Yoni egg. Um, I've gotten a lot of feedback from women who have purchased uh, my Yoni eggs of how it has made their lives so much better. They've had breakthroughs with their emotional um, instability. Um, things that have been buried deep within their wounds is coming to surface and they're able to release these things. Um, I just want to say thank you for sharing, you know, your experience with the Yoni Egg. The Yoni Egg, I, I love it. I carry this one around with me, even though um, I, I do have some that I insert as well. But the White Jade, I love it because it, it, um, it blocks negative um, energy. It also blocks distractions. It, 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 it's calming and it helps me make better decisions. So I carry it around with me. Sometimes I put it in my bra, you know, sometimes I insert it. But we have all these tools to 
improve our lives. So I'm just asking you to, you know, do the work, you know, use the tools. But more importantly, I just want to thank everyone who, you know, purchased the eggs and gave me some uh, feedback on how well the eggs are helping them. And I just want to say, keep doing what you're doing and continue loving yourself. So 2015, ah, Divine Rooms for Life have some new products coming. Um, you know, we do have the Yoni juice, which will help you insert the eggs a lot better. And it's also uh, a natural um, lubricant that is going to be available. Um, and as well, we're going to have some natural body creams. It's called the uh, YC uh, Bombs that's going to be available. And my biggest joy that I want to share with you is this new project. I am opening up a womb healing center and it's going to be opening up in spring. So just stay tuned. I'm going to be sharing more about that. Um, I'll be posting some things, you know, sending them out via email. Um, it's going to be a womb center where women can come and heal. We can do womb pulsing. We're going to have womb massaging. We're going to have breast massaging. So it's going to be a wonderful um, uh, womb healing center. And we're also going to have an online goddess womb portal where, you know, women can connect from all over the world, where we're going to be focusing on meditation, rituals. Um, there's going to be more videos, free ebooks, and stuff like that that's going to be a part of the portal. Um, there's going to be a Geechee Goddess Village where you can, you know, if you have a business, you can share your business there. And we're also going to help women. We're going to teach you how to start your own business. So it's uh, going to be starting in summertime around the summertime so stay tuned we have a wonderful uh year ahead of us and we got wonderful uh tools to share with each and every one of you so please if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe and also like the video please visit my website divinewombsforlife.com sign up for my free ebook womb sense bounce in the sacred room and i look forward to seeing you in two weeks Let's have a wonderful, productive 2015. Do the work.